Oh, hello guys, let's uh, do some quests. <laughs> I spent uh, a lot of this afternoon just uh, making my HUD look really nice and uh, organized for like when I'm like doing instances and stuff. I just I did like a whole thing. It was really really cool. I really enjoyed. It. I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna move it to, to number one now. You can copy it over. I think like copy the one. <laughs> Execute. Ah, it should be fine. Yeah, I I made it so organized now. It's so nice. Like. This is for when I'm on my gladiator. I did it for my archer as well. Archer. And today I got my archer up to like 20 something so they can do instances and stuff. So that's cool. So up here is like um, just abilities I can watch out for when I'm like fighting and like I need to keep them off cooldown and stuff. And um, yeah, my hop bars and stuff here. Got the party stuff over here, which is like when I was over here, I never ever looked at it. Like now it's over here, I go, I go, wow, so that's who's in my party. <laughs> and I've got like the target bar here and buffs here and debuffs here. Debuffs on the boss here, buffs on me here, debuffs on me over here. So yeah, it's like, I'm so happy now. It looks really nice. To me, it looks really nice. Like I moved this experience thing to the top because I don't really need to look at it that often, but I like to know what level I am. <laughs> and then that's, oh, and I got like a macro, watch this, watch this. I can hide the duty finder. Oh, so, so, so neat, right? So neat. And I only track two quests. I can choose how many quests to track because it was like usually full and I didn't really care about these other quests. It's in the options, you can change that. So I've got it as the main story quest and, and currently Hildebrand quest, which we'll probably do today. Uh, and also, I had this emote thing, like always there, but I don't always have to have it on there. So I can just click the button to hide it or show it and then like check it out. <laughs> I got some emotes to do. So I thought this is like my favorite emotes I could just have ready. Um, dancing, I can dance. <laughs> Cheer jump. Congratulate. <laughs> All sorts of stuff. All right, so I'm really happy with it. So this is on my archer. I'll switch to samurai to do the quest. So we'll do a little bit of the Hildebrand quest. So even my samurai, um, I've moved everything around a little bit. So it's all like, I can kind of watch what's going on here. And like the stuff I need is just basically around here and I can hide that if I need to, which is cool. And the party's over here. I've kept the enmity list over here so that it doesn't shift around between warrior and even though I don't really need it on my samurai. All right, let's um look, check this out. I can, although uh, Sokjin is in the way of this, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I can put Sokjin back into the, to the thing. I just took him out to so I could look at where the party thing was. But right now I'm currently training him. I don't know um, uh, to be a healer. <laughs> so when I'm doing stuff, he can heal me and stuff. So let's. Uh, this is my uh, free company house. I can stable him. Stable my chocobo. Summon, I can unsummon him. Where is he? Oh, Sora's here. Look, I got my emotes. <laughs> um, where's my chocobo? How do I unsummon him? Oh, he's unsummoned, right? Stable my chocobo. Oh, you can't stable while he's summoned. How do I unsummon him? That's something I haven't really looked at. Let's summon him. Where is he? He's summoned, right? Where is he? I have to summon him. Super confused because I can't see him here. Well, I need to put the pet hot bar on. Where is it? System config. Hard layout. I think it's at the bottom. That's something I haven't done. The pet hot bar. Pet hot bar. Which one's the chocobo hotbar? Is there a chocobo hotbar? Hmm. Where can I put this? Maybe here? 
Alright. Save. So many. Oh. I, oh, I have to leave first. I'm gonna leave and then unsummon him. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I gotcha. So he, t he can't show up, but he's actually here. I get it. I congratulate the Sok Jin. How? How? Alright, I'm gonna tell him to go away. I don't know how- oh. Withdraw? Withdraw? Oh, he just vanished on his own, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Let's stable him. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Feels so nice that I've um what do you call it? Got my my, my thing so neat. Ah, oh, feels so good. Yes. Now I'm gonna train him. Pin to my chocobo. Train. Mimic Gourd is the one that makes him a better healer. <laughs> so cute. I haven't seen this little clip before. Oh, I, I've seen this one before. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um, I think that's all. So I have watered the plants here already. Wow. And uh, I think that should do it. Sora's just chilling. How do I salute? <laughs> All right, let's go. Immaculate. All right, no. Let's go. <clears throat> Alright, so let's continue our Hildebrand quest with my shiny new UI. Oh, I'm so happy with it. I mean, and I tested it out with um, Guild Hess. It's like, because they pop so quickly at the moment, especially at this time of day, because um, it's an American server in the afternoon. Um, it's just so good, I love it. Ah, okay, and I can hide it. See, I always had this thing where I wanted it, but then I knew it does make it look cluttered. So, quickly, I can just quickly hide it like that. So good. Ah, love it, love it, love it, love it. Anyway, um, let's go do this. The Immaculate... whatever. Ah! Oh, better eat this. <clears throat> Curtain call. Alright. So let's just do a little questing, because I did a lot of, um, setting up today. As in, like, I had my Gladiator, who I leveled up from level 1 yesterday, to now he's like 20 two or more than that I think because I'm um, what happened was I realized that um, I wanted to level up my squadron by doing dungeons and I think and I was just, I was doing it with my maraud my warrior and I was thinking why why could I do that when I could actually level up my paladin slash gladiator at the same time so I did that so I got my gladiator up and the, it was really easy I did mostly mainly the hunting log um, I saw a video on YouTube about how the best way to level is, and from 1 to 20, hunting log is really good for each class. And it was, and especially because I've got this, um, I, I Google, and there's like f FF14 console something website. Okay, let's, uh, they have, have the coordinates of places where you can hunt them. Anyway, let's go. Humphrey's here. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, I, I'm Humphrey, and you are... Puff, puff. Uh, at last, I've caught up with you. You there, young sir, I am... I am told you are a victim of the marauding duelist. Me? A victim? Haha, <laughs> how amusing. You amuse me. True, I was challenged by, by the duelist not long ago. But where he thought to find a whelp... 
<laughs> this guy's funny. The quests for Hildebrand are so funny. Uh, he found a warrior of light. Instead, I, I defended my honor and my blade. See for yourself. So cool. Oh, the reason I wanted to uh, make a paladin is like, I just missed having a sword and shield because when I used to tank in um, World of Warcraft, I, you'd have to have a shield when you tanked. And I just missed that. It was cool. And I, I like, I just like the idea of the paladin. And I saw um, in in Walker the paladin moves. They look really cool. Like they've got like big swords coming down from the sky and stuff. It looks really cool. You mean you, you won? That's amazing. Yeah, well, it was nothing compared to what I faced at Cartano. Magitech um, to the f the right of us, Magitech to the left of us, stuck in the middle with Master Lu, we were. Um, Kor, he was a dab hand with the old magic, he was. I tried to save him, of course, but, oh, he means Luiso, <laughs> and there's a limit to how many giant beasties a man can. That man is no warrior of light, says Ellie. <laughs> uh oh. Is he. Oh, it's Tell them, uh, Elazar. Tell them how he lost and surrendered a sword that was not his own. Elazar, liar, scoundrel! I trusted that bastard with my father's blade, but him take it to a smithy for restoration. Even gave him gill to pay for it. Then he comes crawling back, sh sh uh, sniffling and begging forgiveness for losing it in a duel, as if that's enough to set things right. Look at me, you bleeding whore son. Look at me, my flowing golden locks are no more. <laughs> I've gone bold from the stress and heartbreak. He's very bold. Uh, I swear to everything holy that you'll face a reckoning if you don't bring her back to me. <clears throat> he wants his sword back. <laughs> I like how everyone just looks at each other. <laughs> alright, alright. He beat the shite out of me and took the old man's sword. I used the guild to pay for Chirujin. I have no idea where he, where he, um, where he, or the sword is. What am I supposed to do, huh? I can't give him what I don't have. Unless, unless you help me find the sword. That's what you do, right? Help people? <laughs> Have you no shame? First you claim a legacy not your own, then you beg others to help you with problems of your own making. You will refuse this man, won't you, Inspector? And what of Elazar's flowing golden locks? How will forsaking young Humphrey help the man he has wronged? <laughs> well, shall I begin our search for the sword by questioning the people of the Golden Bazaar? That boy should be ashamed of himself, robbing poor Elazar of a priceless family heirloom. Just goes to show you should never trust an adventurer who claims to be a warrior of light. Thieves and tricksters, the lot of them. It may not be the most honourable solution, but mayhap you should consider giving Elazar a counterfeit blade. If the deception brings him peace in his final days, would it be so wrong? Hmm. That's what she thinks. Elazar's sword wasn't much to look at, but at least it was authentic. More than a few collectors have been tricked into purchasing counterfeit, counterfeit relics. <clears throat> Aby. Oh, it's actually a nice sunny day. I might go roll later. Um, antique swords. Oh, I haven't the foggiest about that. That travelling merchant, uh, Jojong Pai, is the one you ought to speak with, assuming he hasn't left.
So it's a mystery which um mount I'm gonna get. <laughs> I'm really, I love it. I'm so happy with my new. Oh, I didn't have to fly. <laughs> I'm so happy with my new UI. Like, you know, before before um this, like I was like, my UI was whatever it was. It was kind of like a little bit messy and not optimized, but it worked. And and I just I don't know. It's I feel so much better now. It feels amazing. <laughs> I'm really pleased with it. It's exactly what I want, but I can tinker with it some more. <clears throat> Especially announcement enables me to look at my character more when I'm playing. That's what the main thing. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of an ancient sword, at least not one I can guarantee to be authentic. You see, any wares I determine to be of dubious origins, I immediately dis discard in the spring east of Camp. Drybone. Although I have no swords for sale at present, I may have disposed of a facsimile um, similar in design to the one you descri ah, described. So we're going to give him a fake. This presents a quandary though. I am loath to deceive an honourable man like Elazar. A well-intentioned rose, a ruse may put his heart at ease, thus spurring the rejuvenation of his flowing golden locks. <laughs> Whilst we continue to search for the genuine article. Okay, so that's a good point. It'll, it'll help him grow back his hair. Um, well, if there is a sword in that spring, I would, it wouldn't remain there for long. It's one of the more convenient sources of fresh water for the common folk in Camp Drybone. You should endeavour to be more optimistic, Miss Ellie. <laughs> like me. I say we search the spring first before declaring all to be lost. He's a very cool character. Look at him, he just walks around with his like crop top suit. <laughs> like a zombie. I love it. <clears throat> oh, I got the car. <laughs> oh man, that was worth two days getting this. I love this car. And I love my UI. It makes me so happy. I got my limit break button there as well. Nice and big. Uh, just for my um rogue mason. Um not rogue uh, samurai. Seems like Malay Malay DPS is the one that usually, usually uses it. We need a, a river, right? Or a lake or something? Ah. Found him. Uh, it occurs to me that I am not yet fully recovered from my accumulated injuries. It would not be prudent to immerse my body in water. Not without first uh, coating it with a liberal application of salamander oil that is indeed on many occasions my dearest mother tended my on a, my dear, my childhood uh, scrapes just so you understand the importance of physical rehabilitation yes then you can assist me by pouring the oil all, all over my body <laughs> oh my gosh so funny the body is but an instrument in occasional need of oiling. So come, my friend, come and oil me up. <laughs> I'm oiling him. Is that how I oil? Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, this comforting scent. Though I am a child in her... As though I am a child in her arms. Quickly now, before it dries. Knead the oil into my aching flesh. <laughs> ah, he, he loves the flakes. I love it. This guy's amazing. Ah, the rel. Gah, the pain multiplies manifold. Gently now, gently. <laughs> Can't believe this is the whole quest. Just massaging him with oils. <laughs> oh my gosh, he keeps going. <laughs> this is so funny. 
Oh God, oh God, oh God. Yes, at last my muscles slacken and soften. The, the warmth spreads and the pain becomes pleasure. Wow. That's amazing. He's pretty happy. God, he's doing squats. <laughs> oh, we keep going. This is hilarious. Right here, yes, keep doing that. Just like that, just, yes, now, once more, with feeling. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, what, we keep going. <gasps> wow. Wonder how much XP I get for this. <laughs> Actually, it's its own reward. Never before have I received such splendid ministrations. Now then, into the spring, you as well, my good man. Mmm. Mud pebble. Oh. I've moved my bar down there because I don't really need it that much, I don't think. As a, especially as a samurai, I guess. <clears throat> you've been productive. Excellent. May I see what you found? No sign of the sword. Jojo Panda Jojo Jojo Pa mentioned, I see. Ah! Now I'm all wet. What was that anyway? Hmm? Did something cause you to... Oh no, is it like a tentacles or octopus or something? No, it's too shallow. I was thinking Star Wars. I love my sword. Once again, my instincts have guided um, us to our quarry. That I had you search that section of the spring was a stroke of sneeze. Hachu. Inspector, is it, it's bad for your health to conduct investigations in these clothes. I'll go to Ulda and fetch you some new ones. How thoughtful of you, Nashu. While you're there, purchase a few bottles of hair tonic for Elazar as well. The newest, most potent blend you can find. Is it not wonderful, my friend? Soon all of Elazar's woes will be no more. I feel like I'm playing a different game when I'm doing these quests. <laughs> it's very fun. Very refreshing. Mm. Car. Damn, how cool is this car? Sick. <laughs> <clears throat> Hold on a second. I really liked Fates when I was leveling up my own gladiator. This music's really nice. I think I'm going to be very nostalgic for it one day. Elza! <laughs> As promised, I return to you your father's ancient blade. He's not gonna buy it. It's so different, right? 
Uh, aye, it is her. Every chip and, and scratch is just as I remember. God bless you, sir. Oh wow, really? No way. I never expected you, you would go to such lengths for two strangers without thought of reward. Altruism is a rare trait these days. Tis common enough if you know where to look. A gentleman recognises the good in every soul and understands that none deserve to be forsaken. <laughs> His face is so funny. <laughs> Spoken like a true gentleman, though your garments beg to differ. Inspector, I've brought your change of clothing. I also uh, bought a supply of tonic from this peddler I met in Pearl Lane. Excellent work, Nashu. If you would just bring me that case. That's a lot of hair tonic. <laughs> Who's outside? Oh. Whoa! Is it Gambit? Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> Inspector! Inspector Hildebrand! Is he alive? There appears to be something lodged in my forehead. Could it be a missive from an adoring admirer? <laughs> Very optimistic, I love it. <laughs> and he can't be bothered, he's just pouring the hair tonic on. <laughs> hmm. The author neglected to pen her name. I shall come to claim the collector's blade. Uh, is that supposed to be flattering? No, you. It's supposed to be intimidating. The duelist wrote this. He's daring you to stop him. <laughs> He's hilarious. Uh, a challenge for me? Oh, at last, the curtain rises. Very well, if I'm to, uh, to duel the duelers, I must dress for the occasion. <laughs> He's still, this is the funniest quest. <laughs> He's just, oh my god, no, his hair, is it gonna grow? <laughs> it's so epic. It did he get changed? <laughs> and he's got like the light shining behind him. This is so funny. No way. <laughs> this is as funny as the um the barber one. There was a the hair changer guy. He was funny as well. I Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire. Accept your challenge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he's he's incredible. So bold. So majestic, like a warrior of light. A gentleman of light. <laughs> oh, he's got like a shiny uh, monocle now. It's, he is exceptionally something. <laughs> Call Inspector Hildebrand, you look amazing. The guy behind him is causing light, yeah? Oh, and he's got his hair back. <laughs> that was so funny. Oh, wow. Hilda Brand. This mysterious man. That was really funny. What's happening? Cool camera angle. This is far from the strongest of swords. Blue, blue skies and the rolling desert. How much longer must I seek the blade of legend? Wow, the blade of legend. This is an intriguing storyline. It's like epic. I'm glad I did this. In lieu of doing <laughs> the main story quest, I just heard about this side quest and I was like, I, I want to do it. Um, Cause you get the dance from it and stuff. Wow, filtered water. Um, reminds me of playing Fallout, having filtered water and stuff. <laughs> Non-radiation water. <laughs> All right, 
I think that's a really nice spot to end. Oh, oh my gosh. Kill the brand. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Challenge accepted. It's like an episode. It's like a show. <gasps> the three collectors. Wow, that's like um, when I watched One Piece, there was the Sogo King part where they had this little intro and stuff. <sighs> hey, I know that spear. That's the one I found buried with the pumpkins. Pumpkins sort of remind me of um. No, it's gone. Never mind. Will it be important? Who's she waving to? Us. Whoa, was she talking? Was that the fourth wall breaking? <laughs> All right, let's talk to Ellie. Perchance you are curious about the jeweler's declared target. I it so happens I have identified identified the weapon in question. The treaty blade is part of an Ishgardian noble's collection, or was I should say. No, it has not yet been stolen. It has been purchased by an Ul Uldan collector. Wife of a wealthy merchant living in Vesper Bay. Suffice it to say, I would be remiss in my duties as a reporter were uh, I to not investigate her. And should the jeweler strike while I'm present, well, I hope I need to explain what a golden opportunity that would be. <laughs> Ingratiating myself to her many may prove to be the greatest challenge, uh, though I'm told she is a difficult woman to please. Fortunately, I am also told that she has a fondness for rare f flowers, the sort Tutusi and Cap dry bone cells. You can come along if you'd like. Alright, so we'll end the let's play right there. Is that a chocker ball? It's like a demon chocker ball or something. It's got arms. It's like a horse. What the heck? That's crazy. <laughs> Looks cool. <laughs> That's cool. I. Wow. Anyway, that was really, really, really fun. I love that. And my lovely UI. I'm so happy with my UI. It's beautiful. Ah! Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I'll see you later because we'll definitely be continuing Hildebrand Quest. <laughs> and until I see you later, um, bye.